Hello, everyone, friends and colleagues. This is Penny Siaberry of PLC Associates. And as we are now into our second month of our academic year, I've been thinking a lot about student engagement and what happens at the classroom level. We want it to be robust and dynamic. So a couple of things that I think you know, are especially important as we consider our classroom situation. So remember the learning pyramid? That's from National Training Laboratories. And what did they teach us? They said that if students are reading only, there's about a 10% retention rate. If it is a model or demonstration that goes to about 30%, once we involve ourselves and our students in discussion, really robust discussion, it hikes up to 50%. And then after gradual release of responsibility, we get to 75% once students are beginning to, to practice and have that guided opportunity with teacher's help to practice their new skills and knowledge. So that's number one. Number two, David Sousa's research, brain research. Remember the 10 and two guideline? And that is, we really shouldn't go much more than 10 minutes of instruction or facilitation before we stop and allow reflection. So being able to work those metrics and give you know, two minutes or more of reflection, questioning time for students definitely adds the engagement factor. And then the last one, one of my favorites, protocols. There are hundreds of protocols out there. So one of the questions to ask ourselves obviously is, do we have these dynamic activities in place, whether it's hand up, stand up, pair up, partner up, that's one, quiz, quiz, trade would be another, or front to front, back to back. Those are just you know a few examples. And I know all of you out there have uh, many more uh, examples. And I guess the, the, uh, the question is, is this part of our regular classroom practice? So student engagement, it's one of the areas if we get right, it has the domino effect on all things at the classroom level. And how much better is that to have students absolutely entrenched in the learning, enjoying the activities and the environment and really causing their, their thinking and their knowledge and their skill set to, to heighten. So that's it, friends. I just wanted to share those three things as opportunities for taking it to the next level. We'll be back for more sometime soon. Thank you.